Hello everybody, I'm Mr White and this is Reading with Mr White and I've got to tell you I am really, really excited today and the reason I'm so excited is that I get to read to you one of my all-time favourite children's stories. It's called Tyrannosaurus Drip and it's by an amazing author called Julia Donaldson. Now, I love dinosaurs and I love this book. My son loves dinosaurs and he loves this book. I've brought some of my dinosaur friends with me today. Can you see some on my shelf? If you love dinosaurs, I know you're going to love this book. And do you know what? Even if you don't love dinosaurs, I think you'll still love this book because it's got a lovely, lovely story. So sit back, get yourself nice and comfy and relaxed and listen to me tell you this story for the next few minutes. Tyrannosaurus Drip by Julia Donaldson. Here we go. In a swamp beside a river where the land was thick with veg lived a herd of duckbill dinosaurs who roamed the water's edge and they hooted up with rivers and they hooted up with reeds and they hooted up with benefals of juicy water weeds. Now, now across the rushy river on a hill the other side lived a mean tyrannosaurus with his grim and grisly bride and they shouted up with hunting and they shouted up with war and they shouted up with benefals of duckbill dinosaur. But the two Tyrannosauruses, so grisly, mean and grim, couldn't catch the duckbill dinosaurs because they couldn't swim. And they muttered, down with water. And they muttered, down with wet. And they muttered, what a shame bridges aren't invented yet. Now, a little Compsognathus, but for short we'll call her Comp, found a duckbill egg and stole it from a nest beside a swamp. And she swam with it, and ran with it, and murmured, Clever me! And won't the baby comps be thrilled with Dunk Bill Egg for... Hmm, tea! She dropped the egg in terror and went running for her life from the mean Tyrannosaurus and his grim and grisly wife. And the Dunk Bill Egg went rolling and at last it came to rest. In of all unlikely places, the Tyrannosaurus nest. Now, the mother T had great big jaws and great enormous legs, but her brain was rather little and she couldn't count her eggs. And she sang, Hatch out my terrors with your scaly little tails and your spiky little toothies and your scary little nails. Out hatched babies one and two, as perfect as could be, but mother T was horrified by baby number three and she grumbled, he looks weedy. And she grumbled. He looks weak. And she grumbled. What long arms and look. His mouth is like a beak. He just need feed it up, said Dad, and gave the babe some meat. The first two gulped and guzzled, but the third refused to eat. And he said, I'm really sorry. And he said, I simply can't. And he said, this meat looks horrible and rubbery to plant. A plant? yelled Mum in horror. And Dad said, get a grip. His sisters found a name for him. Tyrannosaurus Drip. And they shouted, up with hunting. And they shouted, up with war. And they shouted, up with pellifuls and duckbill dinosaur. Poor Tyrannosaurus Drip tried hard to sing along. But the others yelled, you silly drip, you got the words all wrong. For he hooted, down with hunting. And he hooted, down with war. And he hunted, down with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaur. Drip sisters soon grew big enough to hunt with dad and mum. But they turned on drip and told him, you're not fierce enough to come. And he cried, they've gone without me. And he cried, lack a day and he cried this doesn't feel like home i'm going to run away so he ran off to the river where he saw a lovely sight 
a herd of duckbill dinosaurs all hooting with delight. And they hooted, up with rivers! And they hooted, up with reeds! And they hooted, up with pitifuls! Our oh, juicy water weeds! As he stood there on the bank, a sudden urge took hold of him. And he jumped into the water and discovered he could swim. And the duckbills came to greet him by the rushy river's edge. And they hooted, nice to see you! And they hooted, have some veg! And Drip, who was delighted that he hadn't run away, ate bellyfuls of waterweed and played with them all day. Then he gazed into the river and he asked them, Who, oh, who, is that creature in the water? And they laughed and said, It's you! That night the lightning crackled and a storm blew down a tree. <coughs> and it fell across the river and the tees cried out, Yippee! And they shouted, up with hunting! And they shouted, up with war! And they shouted, up with belly falls! I've got Bill Dinosaur! Drip's sisters stepped onto the bridge, but then began to frown. For there in front of them stood Drip, who yelled, look out, look down! And they looked into the water, and they each let out a yelp, and one cried, water monsters! And the other one cried, help! Their mother scolded, nonsense, and she joined them on the tree. Then she looked into the water and exclaimed, <gasps> Good gracious me! The three of them stood trembling and Dad said, Get a grip! You're all of you as drippy as Tyrannosaurus drip! He strode onto the bridge and scoffed, Oh, bet there's nothing there! Then he looked into the water and he jumped into the air! And how the duckbills hooted when he landed with a crash! And the tree bridge broke and four Tyrannosauruses went splash! And spluttering and clinging to the branches of the tree, they went whooshing down a waterfall and all the way to sea. And the duckbills hooted happily. They hooted hip hip hip! Hooray for the heroic one and only duckbill drip! The end. Now, I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. I absolutely love it. Keep checking back on Reading with Mr White. I'm going to be reading lots more stories like this and maybe one day I might read your favourite story. If you get mums and dads to subscribe, then maybe they could request a story for you. Until next time, bye!